up, everybody? It's your boy, Al Omega. Welcome to a brand new comic book series, Geek Fest Special. That's right. Today we talking Star Wars. And before we talk to the, this amazing creative group right here, let me introduce my, my co-pilot, the one and only, my fellow crusader, creator himself, Mr. Bracy. What's popping, kiddo? How you doing? Hey, man. Pleasure to be here once again. Thanks again for the invite. You know, I'm always down to talk about cinema. I know, especially so. I know you're a big buff, and later you're going to be talking to Eric Larson at 9 p.m. Holy smokes, I can't wait for that one, too. But you know, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. But you know what's crazy? We have two amazing actresses. We have a director, but you know, but these Mm -hmm. two days are not just actresses. You know, they're also the writers, producers as well behind this amazing uh, film that's currently on Geek Fest Film Fest. You're one of the hottest film festers touring, you know. Comic cons all through America for real. It's fire, fire, fire. So let me introduce the one that actually connected with me first. All right. I mean, she is someone you do not want to mess with. Let me introduce the amazing Amy Schumacher. What are you doing? Hi, I'm great. Excited to be here. Absolutely. And then I see somebody that's been going all over over the Instagram, sharing and sharing. All over, and I appreciate that. And she's also a very kick-ass actress in this film. And I mean, she got some dope moves. I would not mess with her, yo. The one and only, Veronica Roy. (laughs) How you doing? Hello, I'm well. Good to see you guys. (laughs) And then we have the man that was behind the camera, the director, the one, the only. And I love his last name because it means La Muerte. What? <laughs> Steven La Morte. Hey, hey, you doing, kid? I'm doing hey. great. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Yo, this is fire, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me to talk about this awesome film you guys got out that is traveling with Geek Fest Film Fest. Yo, first off, kudos. You know what I mean? I have fun with the film. Y'all rocked it. So let's get into it first. Yo, talk. I need. I need the, the seeds of the origin. How did you guys even connect? So I'll Veronica, start all first. There oh. you go, Amy. There you go. Ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, Amy. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> As a team, actually, we've this is our second Star Wars fan film. But Veronica mm-hmm. and I met in a in a stunt sword fighting class. What? And actually, yeah. How, <laughs> yes, how do you LA. wait a minute? Yeah, yeah, mess with me. How do you find a stunt sword fighting class? Did that <laughs> exist for real? I I got three stores right there. Katana, let's get let me get don't don't you tell me now. Come on. <laughs> oh yeah. That's yeah. up our alley. That's how we met. We started collaborating and Steve and I actually met on a he was the director of a, a sword fighting film that uh I produced. Oh really? So, hey, yeah. check that out. What about you, Veronica? Then I mean, how do y'all how do you feel connecting with this town folks? I mean, and, and may I ask? Because she mentioned a sword fight. Did you meet in battle or just in the classroom? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, well, it start the fight started in the parking lot, and then we took it. The <laughs> Epa, oh, gangster son! Uh, yeah, you could tell yo, because yo, let me tell you, you guys, you you guys were handling handling each other's business in in, in the short film over here. Uh, I enjoyed the film for one thing specifically. You guys had some awesome creative kills, so. <laughs> I mean, you, you guys are sickos <laughs> in a good way. In a good way. Oh, like, ooh, that is nasty. I love it. I mean, you have some dope moves and all. So I definitely want to dig into that as, as we talk. And again, I'm going to show the trailer and all. Uh, but let me leave the floor to my man, Bracey, to have that opening salvo question right there, too, about, about the project. Go ahead, kiddo. Okay, I've got to ask as a as a film as a fan of both Star Wars and martial arts movies, uh, the fight choreography is uh, very significant for me. And you mentioned that you produced a sword uh, fighting film. Uh, so, is that do you have a background in like a stage combat or martial arts? Uh, and did you choreograph the uh, fights for the film? We did not choreograph the fights for the film, but the other yeah. film that I was in, I've just, yes, uh, stage combat throughout my, you know, collegiate acting career. And then when I mm-hmm. came out to LA doing stunt and stage combat type training has always oh. been a, a good focus of mine. So right. um, this sort of fall, fell right into play. And then our our fight choreographer, Terrence Rotolo, is brilliant in combination with Steve's creative mastermind for those 
crazy kills. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Together. No, what is called Amorte? I mean, <laughs> you know, my, it I was the name. I have to live up to it. Yeah, let me tell yeah. you, you were definitely bringing death to the scene. <laughs> I we, definitely. You know, it was important to us that, uh, you know, we made a, uh, I really wanted to do kind of R rated Star Wars, you know, and, and mm -hmm. one of the things that really connected me uh, when I was speaking to TJ, our choreographer, was, you know, he really likes story through action, right? Where it's not just, we stop talking and we start fighting, you know, he really wanted to do something that felt organic and integrated. And so, you know, we start kicking ideas around. What if they're on a, you know, let's do the motorcycle fight from John Wick, but with lightsabers. Let's do the, you know, the, the bow staff fight from Aquaman, but with a double bladed lightsaber, you know, and, and he brought it, the ladies trained for, I mean, weeks, weeks and weeks and weeks of training Whoa. to do all, all this fighting, no doubles, no, you know. Really? I, yeah, they're, oh, oh yeah. That. That's why I asked Veronica when I saw her in this year, like, wow, I'm happy you healed. So, uh, <laughs> so when that movie opened, I was like, yo, what's going on? It <laughs> definitely shows. Bruises. It definitely showed, and I definitely appreciate all the uh, creativity that went into it. Yeah. Uh, I, I love seeing all the different techniques. I love seeing all the different things. And uh, a good fight is... Uh, is a scene in of itself. It's a conversation. And I always go back to like the, uh, the fight in the prince's bride as yeah. one of my favorites. Uh, and so uh, I can tell that you guys were really paying attention to like the, the history of this sort of thing. Yeah. And so that made it really fun to watch. That, yeah, that was something that um, uh, TJ was really all about from jump. Like when he read the script, he was like, I mm -hmm. want to tell this story. Um, through the fight sequences and it's like it progressively gets more intense as it goes yeah these, these are two good guys fighting and they don't really want to kill each other and it just keeps getting amped up and then that's why the weapon dog keeps really ironic yeah it starts because you, you a sneaky one so i, I don't know about that comment. <laughs> yeah look i i appreciate the escalation especially after seeing how lethal each of these characters can be on their own Yep. And how restrained they start, and then it just gets to a point where, like, only one of us can decide how this is going to go. Yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. Amy's no slouch, Joko, and I saw her take on that tube, and she effed them dudes up, son. I was like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, serious. Watching her like kill like the stormtrooper, fresh head. Is dead. Oh, <laughs> that was my favorite. <laughs> Scene right there because when, when she, yeah, you know, that's when I did that. I'm like, oh, that yeah. wife is like, what are you watching? Anytime I say that, and all of a sudden she's talking about, okay, what are you watching? That must have been something nuts. So I'm like, yeah, it is, <laughs> it is pretty funny because Star Wars, you can get away with like so much violence and you're so bloodless because you got laser bolts and you've got your lightsabers, which you know just you know leave scorch marks and things, you know, like limbs fly off, but like, but the head. <laughs> <laughs> like every the head was the one that that was the one that made me win. So I guy goes, oh. oh right. Every time we it plays in person, I always wait for that moment because the audience and hopefully has that same reaction. And it's like, oh, this, this is. And we spent so long on the shot, you know. Okay, we did some tests that were more violent, where the lens broke on the glass. You can see oh, an eyeball. I want to see oh. that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, that's real. The yeah, uncut where, version. You know, like it would break, and you'd see like an eye as he no. fell down, but we were like, you know, all right, this is a, we real don't know talk, who might be watching. Talk, <laughs> now I want to see Star Wars slash Evil Dead style gore novel now. <laughs> the, the, the sport gone Maybe mad. the sequel. Oh, yeah. yeah. We see brains yep. pop out of heads, you know. <laughs> That's we see. talked about it. We talked about it. That's all I'll say. Maybe <laughs> on the, maybe the, our next one. You never know. So, so let me ask you, my homie. You always been a fan of the Star Wars verse that you know that you wanted to direct. All of you guys been a, always a fan of the Star Wars universe, and, and that's why you stepped into this. And this is something you you felt you wanted to do and try out. Anyway, yeah, definitely. Well, what's I'll the jump. what's the appeal of Star Wars for y'all? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll start with in. Steve. We go, Steve, go. Amy, Veronica. Love it. Thank you. Well, I'll defer to the ladies. They brought this project to me and I was so excited Whoa, to make they it. Did. They did. Yes. Not our Walking. first Star Wars film, but they the said, queen. we want to make another one and we want to go big and crazy. Um, and I said, great, let's do it. But my first film was actually a Star Wars film. You know, all my earliest, earliest movies were Star Wars movies. Just the, the fact that yeah. it's a, a world of space wizards and 
you know, good versus evil, uh, the mm. adventure side, the drama. I mean, all of it is uh, something that excites me. Watching the old versions, uh, you know, the originals on VHS, knowing that, like, how, really asking that oh, question, man. how did they do that? I just um, put away my VCR, too. I actually still have one. <laughs> oh, those, hey, those are rare. The original, you know, the original of A New Hope. My, you look yeah, at that. Mine is a history. Though, bro. It looks good. <laughs> oh, it's, if it's in good condition, you might sell that. That might be your uh, college fund for the kids uh, or something. No, no, no. I'm not selling it. It's the forehead. It looks nice. You know, the forehead back then, folks, that was equivalent to the 4K <laughs> of VCRs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah, I've always loved Star Wars, and and um, you know, any chance I get to play in that universe, I'm gonna do, and uh, I'm gonna keep making Star Wars films for sure. Wonderful, nice. wonderful. Next up, me. Yes. Well, as unpopular as it is, I backtracked differently than both Veronica and Steve because the really? the sword fight, fighting like stunt world threw me into. Star Wars and sci-fi and this world I really knew very little about. Oh. I didn't grow up mm. watching Star Wars. So mm. I had to go back and watch all of the films because we kept having these moments where these two would geek out about some nuance, whatever <laughs> it was. And I'm like, you guys, I have literally no idea what you're talking about. So, so Amy, and, may I ask? May I ask yeah. then? So, you know, because you, you're doing stunts and all. What movies did influence you to be this kick-ass mm. stunt lady, you know, busting bow out there uh, i love that question i think it's characters that influenced me the most and why i'm sort of mm. was drawn to the opportunity to do star wars because to play a badass you know self-sufficient strong well-rounded female lead character is what i want to do Wonderful. um and so i think that opportunity when that opportunity presented itself in the star wars realm i was like yes let me <laughs> figure this this out and get after this um, and you know, Veronica did did the deep dive to figure out how we could make our two characters, Cha and Lilith, fit into a world together, like, to so that we had these two, you know, badass female lead characters was awesome. Yep. Uh, so g give it to me, Veronica. So how is you always been a fan, and what led to that inspiration too? That you, you, here we are. Inspired. Look at that smile. Of course, she was a fan. Hey, yeah. hey I mean, exactly. <laughs> ear to ear, yeah, I love it. Oh, so I am a total nerd slash geek in all things like action oriented, um, like in sci-fi and whatnot. But like Star Wars has always had a special place in my heart, like being able to have a lightsaber and to be able to fight the bad guys or fight monsters, good versus evil, much like Steve said, um, I feel like always speaks to like the little kid in you. And like, no matter how much older you become, you're like, yes, I'm gonna fight the bad guys. Um, <laughs> uh, but like uh, seeing characters like Han Solo, how he was just like all kind of like cool and still able to hold his own against like these gods um, with superpowers. I, I kind of like really liked that, which is why I kind of like Batman when he's like holds his own yeah. with the Justice League. Um, and those kind of characters have always really sort of had a sweet spot in my heart. Um, but it was very rare to see a female being able to have that sort of position. Like she is a hero. She can save the world until I was introduced to Buffy, the vampire slayer. And hey. that just made me go, it's a girl and she's fighting monsters yeah. and winning and like, Oh my yeah. gosh. And this, so that like, just who the hell needs Van Helsing when you got Buffy? Dude, and like, <laughs> the original Buffy the movie, not the series. Like the movie was the first one I ever saw. Um, and I just loved watching like the dynamics of like the epitome of what was considered a girly girl, um, but also saving the world and like evil slaying like vampires. And I was just like, you know what? Yes, this is my spirit animal. <laughs> uh, I, I love it. it was, my wifey was a big fan of Charmed. Oh my God. The OG. Uh, my wife too. She didn't, doesn't like the new ones. She goes, nah, they changed two ones. They should have brought back the OGs to kind of be like mentors and all that, this, that, the other. Like, nah, they should have brought back the OGs. They're going to call it Charmed. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I kind of agree with that. It would have been cool to have them back, kind of mentor the, these young ladies as the next generation. Well, they might yeah. be Munoz. Yeah, true. Let's see, let's see. But it definitely Maybe they're back. watching. Maybe they'll take the note. You never know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, let's get it done. Let's get it done, folks. But, you know, we're talking about this awesome movie, right? So, folks, let me give you a taste of it and this awesome little trailer they got going mm. on. Go ahead, fine. Let's get it done, kiddo. You must learn to control your feelings. 
You allowed them to cloud your judgment and acted impulsively. Where's the cargo, Cha? It wasn't strategy. It was a rash decision. I'll make sure to burn it all to ash. Blaster! Neither is our way. You want me to hand you over to the Empire on purpose. It's time to improvise. to me man I, I need to know where the effects coming from double lightsaber then you got your staff too double double staff i mean yo yeah yeah how, how are you guys still alive right now <laughs> <laughs> well first of all we don't let them actually hit each other uh, on purpose <laughs> anyway so that's a big that's a big one i um, will say then, on uh, that point the uh, the Bronca, don't take this the wrong way, but the shot where you get punched square in the face is pretty amazing. I mean, it looks <laughs> right? real. It looks like yeah. you really take one right to the right to the kisser there. Yeah. And yeah. that's with uh, Leon. Leon Sheen was actually the mm. guy who threw that punch, and he's just mm. like wonderful to work with. So he knows how to really sell it. Yeah, oh. well, she had to oh. sell it too, and that's what makes a great punch is like the the person throwing it and the person taking it. So well done. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. I'm telling you, I was concerned. I was like, so happy to see that she's okay. She has a, a <laughs> teeth filled in place. Like, yeah, awesome. <laughs> yeah, a little uh, bit of uh, makeup and thank you. All thank right. you very much. So I need to know, man, when was this film made? Was it during this whole COVID craziness? So, or was it prior? Mm -hmm. Talk about the journey of the creation of this of this little piece of Star Wars, you know, universe here. And uh, well, I'll go to Amy. Yep. Oh, I was just we we shot before the pandemic, and we were gearing up really ready to before? go. We shot in 2019. Okay. Okay. And right as, like, right around the start of the pandemic was when we were ready to start blasting it out to festivals and start touring around with it, and really give it a life in the film festival circuit and we opted to hold off because we wanted okay. to go in person and we wanted to be part but of the I festivals knew. and go to the cons nice, and nice. you know get to do all of that so yeah. it feels like it, it was shot forever ago it also feels like it was last month like i, I have no idea oh, what wow. time is but you know, it, know. It, it i was lost been... today i kept thinking today is friday but then actually it's not because my daughter graduates on Friday, but for some reason, like my mind kept thinking it's Friday. It's not. <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. Don't mess it's with possible. me right now. Like, oh my God. You're right. <laughs> Anything's possible. All time is a construct. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we a actually... Maybe it is anyway. I'd like to hit the theme with a handle. technical question. Oh, sure. Oh, I'm sorry, Stephen. Go ahead. Uh, no, I always I ask this. The, uh, we had to cancel our uh, our premiere. Was I think supposed to be March twenty second of twenty twenty or oh, something? Yeah. We were like just oh, about to release it, and then we put the whole thing on ice. Oh, I know. Oh, we that's a real shame. Like the spot. There we was going to be spring, like <laughs> there was going to be stormtroopers out there. I mean, it was going to be a whole thing. We had it. You had a party. And, yeah. Yes, indeed we did. Yeah. Turned turned into a party of one. But you our virtual heard, screening was great. <laughs> you would have heard my loud mouth in that party. Where well, part this is fun. You were like, oh, there goes Al again. Like, so yeah, no. I always uh I always like to ask these questions of uh whoever's uh doing the shooting. Uh so I'd like to know what you were shooting on, uh what sort of editing suite you did, and in this case, uh what were you doing for the VX? Were you using after effects or something else? Sure. So um we shot on a Panasonic uh GH four. S, no, GH5S, um, because mm -hmm. we really wanted to do a lot of moving gimbal shots. And uh, right. you know, we're going to be asked. We shot almost, we shot two thirds of the film was on location. So being able to uh, have a small and nimble camera that would let us run around the woods uh, very quickly, reset and do those big dolly moves and really capture the action, have it be kinetic, um, was why we went with the 
smaller camera like the gh5 mm -hmm. we cut oh. the whole film was cut uh colored and sound design in the adobe suite mm -hmm. um and all the all of the visual effects that didn't take place on the speeder bike um, we're done with Adobe After Effects. So the lightsabers, the laser bolts, uh, you know, the adding of the the cliff, adding of the TIE fighters and stuff, that's all After Effects. Mm -hmm. But the stuff that's on the speeder bikes was actually done in Unreal and filmed yeah. with the oh, AR wall right. technology. Yeah, yeah, the same stuff they yeah. use for Mandalorian. Uh, nice. Uh -huh. is, nice. Yeah, is that do. is that okay. is very cool. Very, yeah. very cool. And we did I it before the them. Bike. We thank you. We did it before them, by the way. Their show came out first, and they literally oh. said all of the things that was in our press. They're like, "Oh, it's so great! You can have the sunset <laughs> for twelve hours." I was like, "My interview, I said that first, damn it!" Um, <laughs> yeah. You know what? Please share that everywhere. Like you, motherfucking biters! How dare you? You know, it's, it's there first. It's pretty neat because I've seen more and more people using Unreal, but they're using it for completely CGI projects. So it's nice to see it being used with live action as well. And what inspired well, that decision to use that 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 use it that way? That's pretty interesting. I'm betting it's just well, control. Well, it's it's control. It's also um, you know the aesthetic, right? I mean, the, I have a lot of experience with green screen, and people often mm -hmm. you know, want to hire me to direct things, and they say, "Hey, let's let's do it green screen." And and as soon as the contract is signed and the check is cleared, I say, uh, "We shouldn't do green screen. Let's go ahead and not do green screen." So <laughs> there's a lot of, there's a lot of downsides. There's a lot of downsides to working with the, with the gangster. Gangster. He is and, so uh, gangster. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, afterwards. Take his clear, we can, but you shouldn't. We can, but you shouldn't. So that, you know, working in Unreal with the, the team at AR Wall, um, you know, just gave us more control, allowed us to use a handheld camera and, you know, blow air at the ladies' faces. I mean, that's a, they built a 3D track inside this forest. Um, and so you could, you know, we could spin them, we could twist them, we could turn them, mm -hmm. and then I could say bang. And the folks at AR wall would fire a laser blast. And so it would explode near the ladies and then they could react because we didn't know where it was going to go. Like the, wow, I would just say okay. fire and a laser bolt would shoot by and explode over here. They'd see it on the screen next to them. And then they'd be able to react while we're shaking oh, the wow. camera. Okay. And then when wow. we wrap the footage is done, that's it. Like we shot it in know. camera. I need to know. So Veronica, yeah, see, that's, was this that's so great you giving you something to react to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Veronica, was this something new to you in that process doing that? Or were you, is, I, I, listen, I'm new to all of this. So is, is that like typical lasers and all? Okay, let me react now. <laughs> so Veronica, how, what, what was your experience with this? You tell me over here. Oh, yeah. So um, working with the AR wall was just like, oh, it was mind blowing. Like the very first time we walked in and we saw like their screen took up the entire wall from like Word. ceiling to floor. And when they were doing like tester footage for us, we were walking in and we're like, oh my gosh, this looks like a city in Blade Runner. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, we actually ended up using one of those ones in the um, in the flashback with Master Nomi and with Lilith in the training ah. sequence. That wow. was the very first scene we had ever saw when we walked in. And it was just oh. so surreal. It didn't matter like where you moved like the angles would change as if you were physically there as opposed Word. to today, just stagnant. And it was just like, oh my gosh, it made it so much easier to be able to get into the moment. Like as an actor, having this, actually being able to sit on the speeder bikes, which Steven and uh, a friend of ours, Flip Kobler actually built. What? Um, yeah. <laughs> yo, bro, doc, Mr. Death over here is like a master, yo. Yo, what? <laughs> So like it, it just helped all add uh, like to the picture and to the scene. Like Amy and I are sitting on an actual speeder bike. Um, they've got leaves on uh, being held by people like on either side of us. <laughs> just in front of us with the leaf blower, just like putting the wind in our faces, and we're like like driving with the stuff going on in the background. Like and my it, lashes, damn it! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it was just uh, it was just such a beautiful experience, and I would absolutely do it again. And would you agree, Amy? Because you were here with that big smile too. Like, yeah, uh, young it was it was one of the most fun days on set ever. And it, mm. because everyone in the room was participating, you know, we had Steve had a good idea to have somebody giving us leaf shadows, you know, on our faces, and we had the wind. And nice, there was a guy nice. in a stormtrooper, you know, a stormtrooper there. And like, I, we're doing, I'm doing this knife fight with the wind, and she's driving, and like, it was just. 
felt so ridiculous, but also so fun. And then when we got to see that, we got to see that footage. I was like, whoa, it, I knew it was going to look good, but it looked like we couldn't tell sitting on this thing of like, does this work? I know mm -hmm. I'm sitting on like, uh, you know, right. What am I uh, really doing Lynch. here? Yeah. I'm just doing yeah. this. What, what the hell's going on? Yeah. Jesus. Swing now, swing now. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say. Uh, right. I love it. Yeah. I, like, I would love to. Do I'd like that. to ask the. Uh, I'd like to ask the ladies another quick question, if I might. Of course. Uh, so, uh, Bronca, you said that uh, this is your second Star Wars production. Mm -hmm. Is this a continuation of your character? Uh, can oh have, yeah. Oh, a whole new character here. A whole new character. Now, our first one was I was actually a Jedi, and it was a. Uh, uh, three Jedi's, um, basically fighting our evil sh uh, shadow selves. So, like the dark Jedi oh. versions of ours. It was a oh. very like extra supernatural kind of aspect. Um, but like I died at the end of that one, so this oh. is definitely not a continuation. Right. Uh, the resurrection right. of well, Ronald Roy. <laughs> well, here's here's my follow up question. <laughs> well, here's my follow up question then. Uh, since both of you are obviously uh, writers as well as performers. And these characters survived. Will we see more of these characters in the future? We were actually talking about this with Amy's character because she actually dies at the end. Um, mm -hmm. Spoiler, spoiler. Star Wars, um, no, no one's ever really dead. I, I, Come on, no one's ever really gone. Want to bring her back. Maybe we'll clone her. <laughs> I, I thought it was. I thought it was slightly ambivalent. I wasn't one hundred percent sure if she died at the end. Yeah, man, the way you guys yeah. closed it, you, it, it was a nice opening, and that goes to show Amy's skills, too. It's like, yo, even though she died, she gave you that strength at the end, still giving you that hope. That but Star she's Wars definitely got, <laughs> uh, Amy's character definitely has enough backstory to dig into that. So I would, mm. I'd be up for seeing the continuing adventures of either one in uh, whatever time frame that is. Oh, wait a minute. Now my mind is blown here. Thinking about that, Amy dies. I mean, does Veronica carry. Uh, oh my god with the kids oh shit there's so much going on wait a minute <laughs> now i'm starting to think more that sequel would be fucking sick right now the right, possibilities yeah because again never know. Us, if yo, boba fett can crawl out of a of a sarlacc pit like i think yeah uh, did I you think see that, yo, could that survive a little laser hit <laughs> hey finnick finnick shan survived her laser hit to the guts why not that's right. Hey. Why not? We'll give Amy some robot parts. It'll be totally fine. <laughs> oh, exactly. That's yeah. what I She can have oh. spider legs like Darth Maul. It'll be great. No problem. <laughs> yeah. no down, you guys, for the next There you script. go. In the note. The, the terrible total <laughs> agrees. He goes, yes! We need robo Amy right now. Oh, that's TJ. <laughs> that's our fun that's choreographer. Oh, oh right. excellent. Yeah. Shout out, TJ, right there. You're the, you, you're, the, you're the big homie right there. You're killing it. You're smashing it. Very nice so, job. Very nice I, job. I enjoyed this, too, right now. Literally hung up. literally killing it, making the kills happen. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> again, I, you know, I'm a gore man. So it's like, really, bro, Steve, because, again, with, with that last, is that really your last name, first of all? I, I got to know. A hundred percent. That is my true last name. Wow, yo. I mean, because, again, yo. <laughs> Just, I'm not Italian, or whatever, but I know that, that la muerte means, you know, la, la muerte in, in Spanish. Yeah. So I'm like, yo. Oh, yeah. Bro, this, this it definitely yo, sounds like a cool character name. Yeah, I mean, this is that's <laughs> no, right it's, here, it's, personified it's, in it's, film. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> he's going to give you the greatest kills ever. And, and, and he did that because I had fun. Like, every time I saw a head flying, I said, I am. This is this is my type of Star Wars, kiddo Conan ish. Yes, I, love I mean I love it. the uh, I love the speeder bike decapitation, like slamming on the brakes and then you know putting the lightsaber out. I thought that yeah. was really clever. <laughs> that was the, no for me. That was one of the highlights. Because I'm like that was gangsters. Like, all right, let, let me mess with you real quick. Stop. Ooh, ah, look how easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, thank you, thank you. Like, it's, so it's such a. Driver, Amy had that time. And, oops. <laughs> it's such a. It's such a nice take on the sort of thing that you you have seen in Star Wars before. Like one ship is being pursued, and they they slam on the brakes. The other guys flies by, and they shoot them. And like you guys give us a unique new twist. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You make it fun. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. And, and, and Veronica, I need to know um, how long did it take you to learn how to fly that ship? How to fly that? <laughs> I feel like I feel like you're never really a master, and you're always learning. So 
<laughs> I'm gonna say my entire lifetime. That's that's a very Jedi answer right there. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And, and Amy, when you discover you could handle the force the way that you could, I mean, what what was the first thing you did? It was powerful, powerful. Uh, I I only used it for good. So, <laughs> you know, that's how I do it. <laughs> I love it. And and and, and uh, Dr. Death of Film over here is going to about to murder everybody with his talent. Wait, uh, <laughs> see, I flipped that. Um, love that. You know, what we got coming from you, kiddo? I mean, is there more uh, on your directorial palette? And then I get to the ladies because obviously they're very talented writers and, and, and producers themselves. So. Mm -hmm. But uh, Mr. La Morte, that last well, name is my, fire, bro. I need to listen to comic like books too. Yeah, bro. <laughs> it makes it really difficult to travel in Europe, but here in oh. America, it goes over great. <laughs> in Europe, they, in overseas, they think it's a joke. Or oh, you know, really? That my family. Yeah. Well, if it would be the same as if I called to make a reservation and said, "Yeah, table for two for Stephen the Death." There, you know, oh. sounds, doesn't like doesn't I don't want you. Are you trying to kill my patrons? And I was like, right, right. I've had a, a many a, a taxi cab has canceled Bro. on me in Europe. Oh, no. you know I want to oh. see Steven get picked up by Uber, you know, and in a shroud. <laughs> Holding the whole joint, you're standing there. Hi, I'm Steve La Morte. Yeah. Oh, like, oh, see, now, so, now that makes that me. Uber driver, I take off like a mofo, son. Like, hey, now that yeah. makes me want to see a. I want to see a major film in the theater, and it's like a Morte production. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And so, look, they want me to ask Veronica about blowing a guy's head off. What is? Whoa, <laughs> blowing a guy's head off. Oh, shooting. Oh, when you, Probably, yeah, when, when you got the guy with the rope. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the interrogation scene. Mm -hmm. he goes, what the hell are you talking about? You, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That was um. This is definitely one of my like favorite like fight sequences for sure, because we wanted to show that like uh, my character, since I'm force sensitive, but I can't use the force, we got to show oh. that I am actually capable of holding my own against a Jedi against mm -hmm. a god of some form. So that's why that. we wanted to make the interrogation like fight epically nasty to be like, a, oh, okay, she knows a thing or two about a thing or two oh my god. and will instantly die when fighting a Jedi. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. All right. I need to know more then because if you're force sensitive, then we definitely need this darn sequel because I see where it's going. We need this sequel. We <laughs> well, need it. Well, we were able to show a little bit of that, like teasing towards it, like in the final battle when she uses the force and like pushes me back and you see my feet like sliding. Yeah. And oh, then, yeah. yeah. And then mm -hmm. she does the final push and then I fly back, but I catch the, the crate and I stop mm -hmm. myself as opposed to doing like backflips in the air. It's because yeah. mm -hmm. I'm a wee bit force sensitive. Just hey. to be. Just, just to Tad, just the way I instantly. <laughs> right. Yeah, and that was that was another nice aspect. Seeing like the uh, the improvisational brawler uh, versus the uh, the dedicated fencer, if you will. Yeah. Another nice yeah. piece of character work in the fight scene. Yeah, yeah I mean, mm -hmm. and let me tell you that you ladies do rock in the action. I Thank mean, you. like yo, know, for real. Yeah, lady, I, 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 you in real life, I would not mess with y'all. I'm like, all right, I just want to shake your hands on my distance. That yeah, I'm, yeah, please don't blame me for what men have done. <laughs> I'm not one of them. I'm not one of those. Hey, Stephen, uh, how long was the, uh, how long was the shoot? How many guys, yeah. how many days yeah. did you guys spend on the shoot itself? We uh, we shot for four days, so we did. Oh, uh, and yeah, where, where? Went, uh, all in Los Angeles, California. So we did uh, one day in the woods. Um, we did one day in the studio with the AR wall for the, you know, the Jedi stuff on the speeder bike and also in the, you know, the Blade Runner flashback. And then we did two days out in the desert in actually Star Trek uh, territory over in. Um, oh, that spot. Oh, goodness. You know, the, the spot that's got the diagonal rocks. I can't. It's escaping me. What is it? Yeah. Called. Yeah. But so the, it's, um, it's been used in so many, uh, so many sci fi exactly. movies. It's a great location. Right, so we did a little trespassing out there, and um, we we, uh, we spent <laughs> that one day. That's guerrilla <laughs> filmmaking right there, baby. That's guerrilla yeah. filmmaking. I love it. This is my so, uh, type of people, day, man. I love it. Yeah, it's the only way to get it done. One day to shoot everything but the fight, and then one whole day committed to just the fight choreography, getting it down, getting oh. it, you know, not just 
not just shooting it, but shooting it well, really letting the ladies get the takes in and show off all the time how, and energy they put into practice. How many Thank hours you. did you overwork these wonderful ladies in those action scenes, yo? <laughs> Until it was done. <laughs> Until, yeah. I would say too many, but I think their work speaks for itself. So I, I would say, I gotta yeah. say like, Four days, that's really impressive for the amount of stuff that's going on in this film. Yes, like, that's job well done, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Kudos to all thank of you. Thank you. Because you ladies thank kick you so ass much. for real. I mean, are you guys, no, Amy, Veronica, are you guys, like, really, like, training some judo or some shit? Or this is just all <laughs> choreography? Because I'm scared of y'all, for real. I'm, like, even nervous <laughs> now. Like, if, I, if you guys come out to MegaCon, like, again, I'm going to be a little nervous. Like, holy shit, I mean... I hope you enjoy the interview. They'll kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> You're right to be scared. You're right to be scared. Well, I know that uh, uh, once Amy and I started working with TJ, we just like fell in love with his style, like almost immediately. Mm -hmm. And we just continued the training actually right after uh, filming. We didn't uh -huh. stop. Um, so like uh, two times a week, we're like in that parking garage and we're working on something new, whether it's a new weapon, new style, throwing oh. in some boxing, throwing in some knife work. Um, mm -hmm. we're we'll, we are still actively training in that parking garage. <laughs> so uh. yeah, yeah it's, an, it's much like the speeder bikes. We're never done learning. <laughs> That's, mm -hmm. right. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Uh, before we go, I also want to know, Amy, what do you think or what would you say is your most fun moment? In, in, in this film? I think in shooting it, my most fun moment was the, the final fight at on the cliff. Mm -hmm. um, as a performer and a producer, it was one of those moments where we knew we were losing the light, but can we still get it? You know, Terrence is holding me on the edge with a rope and she's, you know, our timing is super important and Steve, you know, is really like, has everybody dialed in hyper focused mm. on what we were working on so that moment just felt really cathartic as the culmination of all of the things we had put together yeah um you, you and just blew my mind wait a minute were you really hanging over the edge like that on the cliff in the desert yes and no yes. i mean definitely oh. not in a dangerous no, way no, but yeah oh, i hope <laughs> not you were oh on my it. god it really yeah steven tell me the truth what's up because she's not playing it she <laughs> yes, she was hanging off the the cliff was not as extreme. We we okay. modified it in post production, but she was hanging oh, off of a, a legit ledge. That did happen. No Don't word. act like it okay. didn't. Okay. All right, all <laughs> the movie's right, finished, right. Amy. There's no insurance claims. You made it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you were on the ledge. Just say it. You were on the ledge. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yo, the scary that that's awesome on your because I, I saw that. I, it was awesome. Uh, Again, folks, wait till you guys see this in the Geek Fest, Film Fest, you know, circuit. Mm. It's going to be dope. And as we mentioned, Geek Fest, Film Fest, let me show you the trailer of this awesome uh, film festival that you guys need to just be aware of. All right? Check it out. Right there, Geek Fest. Yo, check them out, Geek Fest LA. So you know where you could watch this amazing film, yo. That you guys are gonna be loving. Then you're gonna be telling Disney you gotta hire Amy, you gotta hire a lot more things, you gotta hire Veronica because they need to be part of the greater universe of this whole yes. Star Wars joint as they're I doing. So, so you guys are kidding. Listen, I'm speaking on to the world. And if life is truly a hallucination that we can manipulate, then you guys also got to speak on to the world so that way you can change that narrative and that algorithm, if you will, and mm -hmm. make it happen. Because it will happen. You guys are so extremely talented, yo, for real. Thank and you. I enjoy... I, I, listen, I've only recently, again, 
I repeat this to people. I only recently started loving the Star Wars universe, and it only really started with Rogue One, to be mm. honest. Mm. When I saw that and that take, I said, damn, this is really gangster, son. So mm-hmm. then I started really appreciating it, and then I saw Mando, and I'm watching Boba, and I'm like, all right. And then that Clone Wars last, I was like, all right, this is like so fire. You're I gotta, in. They got I'm you. In. They, they're hooking me it's- like a fish that my wife made fun of me. She's like, I thought you didn't like this stuff. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> it's definitely, Leave me alone. It's definitely, Leave me alone. You bully. It's definitely you fun seeing this. Uh, it's definitely fun seeing this grittier side of Star Wars, and you guys mm-hmm. have brought a new chapter to that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. You you have. Have. Yeah. So, so uh, come on, for real, but I, I, I'm going to keep asking you, but you know, <laughs> you're getting another part on this, right? We're going to get another one. We're, we have some ideas, <laughs> is what I'll say. We have some okay. ideas. All right. I want That's another right. one. <laughs> I, I want to see more of Veronica, and I definitely, definitely want to see more backstory on Amy, especially when it comes to, you know, what's going on in this film and how she helped those kids and that growth and all of her journey. But I also want to see Veronica's journey, too. It's like, yo, how did she get so gangster being able to, like, heal so fast like Wolverine? I'm like, darn so, <laughs> this is I awesome. Was, I was winning all the way through that movie. Did we watch the scene? <laughs> <laughs> but, but you guys totally rock. I'm totally impressed. God bless you guys on your journey for each and every one of you three, yo, just as a fan of, mm-hmm. of this type of stuff. You just want to say thank you for putting yourselves out there and, mm-hmm. and, and just, you know, sharing your journey, sharing your film, sharing your vision, and being brave about it. F everybody. Who have, who, any haters, they just jealous. You know what I mean? That's all it is. <laughs> and, and screw everybody else because, you know, people are going to love this. This is fantastic. So, folks, make sure that you go to geefestival.com so that way you know where you're going to be able to see this fantastic film, mm-hmm. all right, and vote on this. Mm-hmm. It, you know, yeah. They're not the only ones that are there. There's so many talents. That's right. People, but this yeah. is, like, amazing. So show the love to them. Geek Festival, find out where it is in your city. Check it out, because trust me, Bracy and I, you know, we enjoy this kind of stuff, and we, we, we enjoy the action, we enjoy the sequences. You guys are totally talented. Mm-hmm. And again, yo, it's like, you guys got it. So a kudos to you, and a big mm-hmm. web pop from Big Mega and Bracy. You know, Bracy doesn't say web pop. I don't know what he says, but I was tell, I, you know, he <laughs> says web now, all right? <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, I'm, I'm white. We don't have a cool word like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> We need to. I mean, I, well, I'm Southern, so I'll just, I'll, I guess I'll just go, yeah. There you, <laughs> there you go. go. There you go. You can go, yeehaw, gag me with a spoon like back in the day. I don't know. Bro. <laughs> that's a, that's call, wrong coast. Call. That's the wrong coast, my man. Wrong okay. coast. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're on the East, kiddo. There we go. But no, for real. So, uh, Amy, Steven, why don't you guys rock? Folks, I need you guys to keep in touch with these people. I need you to know what they're doing. Show the love, folks. So follow Amy Schumacher official. You got to follow that. I am Veronica Roy official right there. That's the official. I am Veronica Roy. And then you can go to Stephen Lamorte. Epa. <laughs> hey, you know, Mr. Right. Death. Of, so, yeah, for real. That, 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 need, that, that needs to be a kind of a character like right now, bro. Bro, you need to introduce a Star Wars character name just La Morte. Yeah, man, it's like an Italian, an Italian Jedi. Think about this, La Morte, because oh. he's killing it as a director. Yeah, oh. hey. hey. on my website, I love that. That's Bro, excellent. You know, an Italian Jedi. He's yeah, always there. You go. He's very loud. Yeah, you know, listen. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, wait. That's the question I wanted to ask before we go. So, Amy, Veronica, are are your characters Earth based? Or, or or they're different planets within you know the what's up no they're both different planets um so lilith actually has a last name she does actually exist in canon lilith two c's um hey. yeah and then uh, uh and then cha's full name is actually chaneth cha mm. and so like and so they're each individually from different planets but exist okay. in the same timeline. So well, there we go. That means that we could get, you know, the Jedi La Morte, or, or, or even, you know, from the dark side La Morte. And more dark side, I think. <laughs> it's got to be dark side. Come on now. Yeah. That's a, that's well, a la Morte, 
I, I know he's digging it right now. Now his brain is getting racked. And Amy and Veronica about to get a whole fucking new like uh, script within about an hour. <laughs> Darth, the <laughs> Darth Lamorte storyline. Darth oh, Come on, man. He's got he's That's he's got the cool right beard. He's got the cool beard rocking. Totally, totally go for the dark side with the cool beard like that. I mean, I've been it. recording all of these notes for these characters, so I'll have a shot. <laughs> We're at something. Get it done, guys. We got to get the Italian Darth La Morte going on. And I, I need it to be pronounced like that when it, when he gets presented. Like, yo, like, these, guys, you know, these people, you know, these other aliens from other planet be La Morte. What is this? I mean, what planet are you from? Yeah, I'm about to check you on me because, yeah, I'm going to be coming at you like Scarface, huh? But the Italian one. <laughs> Epa, That's me. The OG out the more thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No, for real, you guys are awesome. Thank you for tuning in. And, I mean, and hanging out, folks. You know, these are amazingly talented people. So, again, please follow them everywhere on the socials because these people are just amazing. Right there, you see it everywhere. And, of course, again, please, for real, tune in to GeekFestLA.com so you can know where to check it out because these films you got to vote for. I've been there. Mm -hmm. So anytime yep. that movie come on, you better start clapping your ass off. All right. And let's <laughs> show them some love. Show them some love. Doing the tours for real. Show them some love. So Bracy, you thank you, my fellow Crusader, for hanging out. I'm out. Always Mega. a pleasure, Bracy. It's Amy Schumacher, Stephen Lamorte, Monica Roy, Peppa. There we go, folks. Thank you for tuning in. You know what to do. All right. I thought I pressed my man there. I appreciate every single one of you tuning in, showing the love, spreading the love. You stay positive. Later.